All right, so today we're going to be painting the front wheels on my Trans Am black. That way they match the new rear wheels I got, which I'll be putting a video up on that today too. Got some Race Star Series, 90, 92 Series, I think that's what they're called. 15 by 12s. Very kind of a pain in the butt to get on. Took me a while. But first, you're gonna want to get your, car, your wheels off your car. Set them over there. Get them somewhere. The dirt's not gonna get on them. But I do. Let's grab some more. Let's grab some of that. And just soak them down. backside and everything because you're going to want to get the whole wheel get the front side You can use anything on this stuff, most of the time anyways, some wheels, some uh, some of the uh, chemicals and some of the stuff will actually like pull your paint off your wheels, so read up on that before you use it. And you just want to sit for a second. Get all that brake grime loose up and then grab a rag with some soap and water, scrub them and clean them off, let them dry. And I'll be back. All right, so after your wheels are dried, you're gonna wanna take some sandpaper, scuff them all up. I don't know how, if you can, if you can see these they're all scuffed up all the way around, get on all the cracks and crevices and all that. All I use, just something to scuff up the clear coat so that way the new paint has something to stick to. I just use some 800. It don't have to be too, too coarse because you don't want to dig into your metal, but you don't want to be too fine to where your paint will go on, but it starts chipping off eventually because it don't have enough to hold on to. Uh, I mean, anywhere from like 500 to 1,000 is probably fine, but that's about it. Now you're going to wash them again one more time. This should be the last time you got to wash them. Just use uh, soap and water, chemical to clean them, and then uh, wax and grease remove, and then we'll be back after I do that. Alright, so before you wax and grease remove it, Make sure you take some masking tape, go around the edges on the back and the front side, all the way around. All I use is just some blue painter's tape. Just shove it down inside the bead of the wheel. That way it gets it all uh, all out of the, um, off the tire. But once you mask it off, then take some wax and grease remover. Just go around the whole entire wheel front and back side and just start laying some paint down I don't really use primer on these because the paint after you scuff it up acts like its own primer so I'm just gonna lay some black down and let it dry a little bit and um, let it dry a little bit and then make sure it's tacky and then lay down some clear and I'll show you how to check if it's tacky or not if you don't want it too wet that way you can't run it especially when it's sitting up like this you'll get runs all over the place so you want to do it a lot a lot of really light coats all right so here's the finished product i didn't really get a in between coats or anything like that for painting but it's just your normal painting put on an easy coat 
wait a little bit for it to get tacky. And where I was talking about how you can check it is take your finger on somewhere, like on the back side of the where I did it, back here. Just take your fingers and kind of touch it easy. If it sticks to your fingers and makes your fingerprint inside the paint, then that's tacky. But if your finger slides, you'll see what I mean by your finger sliding too. It's not like water, but it's slippery compared to tacky. So that's all you really got to do for painting. I mean, just take your even coat, go from one side to the other, let off, go back on. And always go with the the way you're, the thing that you're painting is like for example these wheels I painted them like I went strokes from here down to here then I went on this way and then this way and then up and down and went around the wheel don't go across with these because you'll see your strokes so you just want to go with with the layer of whatever your painting is, whatever you want to call it. But that's about it. I mean, they came out pretty good. I think it looks way better than with the uh, aluminum look. And by the way, video coming up on these. So that way you don't get this on a brand new tire but that's about it thanks for watching like subscribe come back for some more thank you